Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Neff and welcome back to our general math class. In this lesson, you will learn fair market value of a cash flow. Cash flow refers to payments received or deposits made. It can either be cash inflows or cash outflows. Payments received which are signified by positive numbers are called cash inflows. Meanwhile, deposits made which are denoted by negative numbers are termed as cash outflows. On a certain date, the fair market value or economic value of a cash flow or payment stream refers to a single sum that is equal to the value of the payment stream on that date. Fair market value or FMV is simply the price at which an asset would sell on the open market. Let us have examples. Example, Mrs. Santos has received two offers on a, resi on a residential land she is selling. Mr. Javier has promised 100,000 pesos in cash and a lump sum payment of 1,400,000 pesos in four years. Mr. Reyes, meanwhile, has offered 100,000 pesos and additional 60,000 pesos per quarter for four years. If money can earn 4% compounded annually, compare the fair market prices of these two offers. Which offer has a higher market value? The given are presented in the table beside me. Mr. Javier's offer is 100,000 pesos down payment and 1,400,000 pesos after 4 years. On the other hand, Mr. Reyes' offer is 100,000 pesos down payment and 60,000 pesos quarterly for 4 years. Let us use time diagrams to show the cash flows of these two offers. The diagram clearly illustrates the offers of Mr. Javier and Mr. Reyes. Mr. Javier plans to pay 100,000 pesos initially at time equals zero, and then an additional 1,400,000 pesos as a lump sum pay by the end of the fourth year. The diagram further shows that Mr. Reyes wants to pay initially the same amount 100,000 pesos and then four times a year he will pay 60,000 pesos and he will do it for four straight years. So he will pay 60,000 pesos 16 times in four years. Next, let us select a focal date to indicate the values of, the, of these two offers at that preferred date. If the chosen focal date is at the start of the term, then t equals 0, and hence, we compute for the present value of each offer. So first, for Mr. S Mr. Javier's offer, Ag again, the given are 100,000 pesos down payment and 1,400,000 pesos after 4 years. The present value of 1,400,000 pesos compounded at 4% annually is determined this can be determined by using the formula for present value or p p equals f plus quantity 1 plus j raised to the negative n so by substitution our f here is 1,400,000 pesos and we are to get its corresponding present value then our j is 4% or in decimals that's 0 0.04 and then n is m times t M, frequency of conversion, and T is time. Our M here is 1 because it's compounded annually. And then our T is 4. Okay, 4 years. So 1 times 4 is 4. And it's negative N, so it's negative 4. By using, by manipulating the operations involved in the second equation, uh, you'll get the value of P as shown in the third equation. Or if you would like to ask how how are we going to derive it using the scientific calculator so simply press 1 million 400,000 pesos okay 400,000 1 million 400,000 and then right after pressing all the digits in that number press the key for multiplication 
and then press the key for open parentheses, then press 1 plus 0 0.04, press close parentheses key, and then for the exponents, you have to press the key for exponent. Usually in calculator, it is x to the y. And then press negative sign for the negative exponent. And then press 4. And then press arrow to the right. Then equals or simply after pressing 4, um, simply press um, equal sign. And this is what you will get. The value of P is 1,196,725 pesos and 87 centavos. That's the present value of 1,400,000 pesos. Hence, to get the fair market value of Mr. Javier's offer, we have to use the formula FMV equals DP plus PV. So what's FMV? Fair market value. DP, down payment, and PV or P is the present value. So by substitution, um, earlier we have mentioned for several times that the down payment offered by Mr. Javier is 100,000 pesos plus the present value we just have derived is 1,196,725 pesos and 87 cents. And then by adding them, we'll get the fair market value which is equivalent to 1,296,725 pesos and 87 centavos. So that is the fair market value of Mr. Javier's offer. Now, how about for Mr. Reyes' offer? The given are 100,000 pesos as down payment plus 60,000 pesos quarterly for four years. Then let us compute for the present value of a general annuity to be paid quarterly and compounded at 4% annually. So as you can recall, um, we have discussed general annuity in our previous lesson. Um, and we all know that this particular case of Mr. Reyes involves um, general annuity. Okay. So first, let us compute for the equivalent rate since it's a general annuity. So in our previous lesson, to compute for the equivalent rate, this is how we get uh, we derive its equivalent rate. So F sub 1 is of course equivalent to F sub 2. And then the formula for F sub 1, we have P times the quantity 1 plus I to the M over M raised to N. N is M times T. Okay. So by substitution, we have our M on the left side is 4 since quarterly. And on the right side, we have we have one since annually. It involves um, compounded annually. Okay, and then um, by substitution, um, i to the first power is equivalent to four percent or zero point zero four, as mentioned in the previous in our prop in um, in the case of Mr. Reyes. And then, um, as you can notice. From the first equation, we still have P, or the present value, the variable P on both sides. But uh, why, why do you think we cannot see um, P in the third equation? We can no longer see it. Okay. Since both sides have P, then we can simply um, divide both sides by P or multiply both sides by 1 over P. The goal is to simplify it. To simplify the equation so after dividing them both sides the uh, both sides have a p um, you can no longer see p on both sides so how about for the exponents and since both the exponents have factors four, their common factor is four then again simplify it by dividing both sides by dividing both exponents from both sides by four by the factor four and there and then we have in the third equation, the exponent that is being left on the left side is 4 only. How about on the right side? It's 1. Okay? Next, um, to simplify it further, we may divide both sides of the equation. Again, we are referring to the exponents. Divide them both by 4. So, in the fourth equation, we can no longer see the exponent 4. What is our exponent then on the left side? In the fourth equation, when you divide 4 by 4, it's 1, okay? So, that is why you cannot see um, the exponent 4 already in the fourth equation. Is it being eliminated? 
by dividing both sides by 4. How about on the right side? 1 became 1 fourth after dividing it by 4. Okay. And then, by APE, or addition property of equality, you have, or we will just um, subtract both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. And what will be left on the left side is J, or I to the 4th over 4, equals 1.04 raised to the 1 fourth minus 1. Okay. So, pressing the keys corresponding to this expression in the calculator, you'll derive the result. And the result is 0 0.00985306. That's the value of J in this particular case. Now, we have to solve for P or the present value. So the formula is P equals R times 1 minus quantity 1 plus J raised to the negative N over J. So by substitution, since Mr. Reyes is planning to pay 60,000 pesos, quarterly in four years so the regular payment is equivalent to 60,000 60,000 and that is our R and then J we had just have computed its value it's 0 0.00985 and then for the value of N we have explained this earlier um, N is equivalent to 16 again that is because M um, Mr. Reyes is going to pay 60,000 pesos four times in four years or four times quart or four times annually in four years that is four times four so 16 and then using your calculators again manipulating the uh, by manipulating the operations involved we will get 884,135 pesos and 71 centavos so to solve for the fair market value of mr reyes offer again we have down payment plus, plus present value by substitution, he's also um, offering a down payment of 100,000 pesos plus the present value we have just computed. That's 884,135.71. Adding them will give us the fair market value of Mr. Reyes' offer, which is equivalent to 984,135 pesos and 71 centavos. Therefore, Mr. Javier's offer is more valuable in the market. The difference in market values between the two offers at the beginning of the term is 312,590 pesos and 16 centavos. Another solution is to set the focal date at the end of the term and not at the beginning. So let us see whether we will get the same conclusion. So for Mr. Hubder's offer, the future value of 100,000 pesos compounded at 4% annually is F equals P times 1 plus J raised to the N using that formula. By substitution, we have F equals the present value is 100,000 pesos times 1 plus again, our J is 4% or 0 0.04 raised to 4. Okay, we have raised to the 4th power. We already have explained this earlier. So why is our N here is equivalent to 4? Then by using your cal calculator or by op um, manipulating the operations involved, you'll get the future value 116,985 pesos and 86 centavos. And the fair market value at the end of the term is um, equivalent to 116,985.86 plus 1,400,000 pesos. That is how we get the fair market value when the focal date is at the end of the term. Okay? So that is the future value of the given present value of the down payment plus um, the additional payment uh, Mr. Javier is to offer. Okay? So when you add them both, that is the fair market value of Mr. Javier's offer. That's 1,516,985 pesos and 86 centavos. Meanwhile, for Mr. Reyes' offer, the future value of the general annuity is derived by this formula. Okay, we all also have learned that formula in our previous lesson on general annuity. If at this point in time you still have confusion on that um, lesson, you may watch our, um, our another video lesson on that. 
um, you just have to look for general annuity, okay? General, uh, our video lesson on general annuity. And then by substitution again, so our, our R is still 60,000 pesos because Mr. Reyes is planning to pay to have a regular payment of 60,000 pesos. And then by substitution, our J of course is still the same. The value we just have derived um, earlier when the focal date is at the start of the term. And then again, our N value is 16. We also have explained that why the value of N is equal to 16. That is again, since M is quarterly, 4, T is 4 years, 4 times 4, 16. Okay? And then the future value is 1,034,313 pesos and 72 centavos. And the fair market value of Mr. Reyes' offer at the end of the term is derived by, that, by this formula. FMV equals 116,985.86. Where did it come from? From the previous solution we have for Mr. Javier. Since, or from Mr. Javier, since they have the same um, amount, uh, initial amount to pay, they offer the same initial amount to pay. Uh, hence, they, um, we will still derive the same value for future value of 100,000 pesos. And that's still equivalent to this 116,985.86. And then we have to add to it this future value we just have derived for um, involving general annuity of Mr. Reyes' offer, which is 1,034,313.72. And then their sum is the fair market value of Mr. Reyes' offer, and that is 1,151,299 pesos and 58 centavos. So still, Mr. Javier's offer has a higher market value. The difference between the two offers market values at the end of the term is 365,686 pesos and 28 centavos. There are many other real-life examples of this lesson on fair market of a cash flow. Try solving them and see for yourself how much you have understood the lesson. Until next time!